Hey, it's Roger at SwiftCloud. In this quick video, I wanna explain how to handle email bounces. Now, this is the February 2022 update version. We are going to continue to smooth this and make it better, and then start to handle soft bounce, which is like a vacation autoresponder versus hard bounce, which means it's not deliverable. So, what I'm gonna show you um, is how you should handle things until that matter, until that, system, that new or better system is resolved. And basically what you need to do is in any bulk email, you're gonna have some bad emails. It happens all the time. People change jobs, people lose access to their account and then the account gets closed. People, it's most commonly people leaving a job, really, right? So in the case of Gmail and Yahoo, those don't change very often, but on occasion, let's say they get hacked and then Yahoo just closes it. That's that's my going to happen. More common is that there's a typo in your data, especially if you were, let's say, bringing that data in, or let's say that the person even filled out a form on your website and they made a typo themselves. All of these things are going to happen. So what we want to do is how it's going to show up is on your home page of Swift Cloud. So once you get logged in, you click on the home here. We're going to continue to refine this whole inbox system to merge in uh, voicemails and emails into one inbox so that'll have more features. But for now, uh, we have the feed and the inbox all mixed together. So anyway, you just click on one of these delivery status notifications and just go ahead and click it. It's going to think for a second. It's going to open up this dock over here on the side. And what you want to do is you want to fish out um, what is the actual email, right? And so in this case, this is the actual email. So what I'll do is I will just go here, I'll go click on, I'll right click, I'm on a PC. So I can right click, open in a new tab, and thus I can kind of flip back and forth pretty quickly, right? So I'm just gonna take that email, I'm gonna right click, copy it, I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna hit right click, I'm gonna hit paste, you can also hit control V, uh, and the system will find that contact, right? So in this case, this contact, that's just me testing. I'm in a testing account, so of course this is like, this is junk, right? This doesn't actually exist. Well, what I need to do is I need to continue, I need to ensure that I don't continue to try and blast to that account, because if you do, it will damage your server reputation. And server reputation is specific to you because your uh, bulk emails are going out through your account, and so, you want to make sure and keep that, you want to practice list hygiene. So every time you send out a bulk email to people and you get a bunch of bounces, it's very important that you take the time to update your list. And what will happen is the first time you do it, if you haven't emailed your list in a while, your list might be very dirty. Dirty meaning like you'll have a lot of bounces, right? And so if you purge that the first time, the second time you're only going to have a few. And if you do it every month, then a lot of the times for, let's say, a typical real estate agent who might have 3,000 people on their list, once you've cleaned that data, each, you, each month, or let's say you're sending out a monthly newsletter, you might only get one, maybe two, something like that. Now, it's going to be things like job changes or it's new people that you put into your database and you made a typo. Well, what you want to do is you want to look up that record and you want to actually call them. So I'm not going to do this. In this case, this is like just junk phone numbers and junk, you know, me testing with the system. But what you can do is you can click call to make the call through here. Uh, you can SMS them, which is even better, right? And so if you have their, their mobile phone, that's probably going to be the best is to actually make a snippet. And why not? I'll just show you how to do that right now because it's super fast. So what you do is you go up here, go to your main drive. I'm going to right click on storage. Go up here. I'm going to make a dock. And what we'll do is we'll make an actual dock and we'll call this um, facts snippets. And what we want to do is, oops, I didn't want that to be an e-sign dock, but that's okay. I'll show you how to fix it. So we're covering a different thing here, but you might as well have something. So what we want to do is, is hi there, I have the wrong email for you. Uh, your email bounced, right? Email bounced. Can you? And then I'll just put in, you know, Roger at Swift Cloud. Something like that, right? So that's that's a typical, that's 197 care, or you know, that's that's well within the limits, right? So ideally what we'd do is we'd put in the person's name, right? So we'd, you know, either, you know, either Bob, right? Something like that. Uh, you can personalize this. So when we make a snippet, what we can do is we want to change this. All right, so I accidentally made this a, uh, an e-sign doc. We don't want it to be an e-sign doc. We want it to be a fact. So what we'll do is we'll make it an actual, not a template, but we'll make it a fact, right? Fact snippets, right? 
And what we'll do is we'll go up here and we'll go to specially formatted and facts and we'll make a fat container and your email bounced. Uh, email, we'll just call it email bounced. And then what we'll do is we'll take and copy this whole message into this space. I'm flipping around here back and forth, but I think that you're following me. Uh, thanks, Roger at Swift CRM, right? Dot com. I can put in something like that. And then what we could do is put in, um, we could put in a name. I'll do that. I'll let me just put in a placeholder here, right? Okay, so here we have the actual placeholder. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace that with their actual name. So we're going to put in name. We'll put them in patient. I don't actually need their role, so I'm going to pull that back out. And required doesn't matter because we're injecting data in here. And we don't want to greet them by full name. What we actually want is first name. So I'm going to strip that entire string back out. We're going to go back here. and We're just going to go name. We're going to go first name. I don't want name both. I want name first. All right? And so we'll just go like that. All right. And when the role doesn't matter, again, in this scenario, because we don't have to tell the system what role this person fills, like client, patient, student, borrower, whatever. Um, we're just going to put in their first name first, right? Okay, so we don't need actually even this. We can just put in this, right? We can put in first cap. That'll capitalize their first letter. So if you have it in the database, in this case, I've got some weird capitalization. Again, me just playing. This will just change it to first cap, right? So only the first letter. Okay, so I'm going to hit save. I'm going to save this doc. And anyway, what will happen is now you'll have a snippet that shows up over here. Let's see if we can um, get that going. So it'll take a second to save. Okay, now once we do, we have down here an email bounced snippet. I can just click it, and the actual answer goes here. I guess that is not coded as of today, 14th of February, but that is how it's going to work, is you'll be able to, um, oh, it's just not injecting the correct message. So what should happen is your email bounced, right? So it should be something like this. Anyway, we'll get that fixed. So by the time you see this video, that's probably already fixed. In this case, we'll just take this, copy this information, stick it in here manually in this case. And I'm going to text that. Now, I don't want to do that because this is a junk phone number. It happens to be my, uh, you know, my parents' phone number, and it's a landline, so don't bother texting it. Don't even call them. <laughs> It's really that. Um, all right, so hopefully you, hopefully that helps you, but what is important is that you, you practice list hygiene. So in this case, what we want to do is actually get rid of this uh, contact um, email. And normally there's a little trash can right here. In this case, this is on the old contact system and it's hard coded in a different way, but typically there'll just be a trash can. Here's an example, right? So I can just click delete. It'll actually delete that record. So generally speaking, I think uh, most of the time you're, you'll have that little trash can there. On the new system, you'll always have that trash can. And that way you can just update your database. In this case, it's an actual user because it was a test account, whatever. You get the idea. So hopefully that helps you. Again, your goal is to practice list hygiene. And if you uh, bite the bullet and do it that first time, then what will happen is you'll end up with a better server reputation because the more times your server is undeliverable, and the more times people mark you as spam, then that damages your, your reputation. And if your rep, as your reputation goes down, you'll get into the inbox less, fewer times, right? And the fewer times you get into the inbox, next thing you know, you're just off the, re off the reservation, as it were, uh, or off the ranch, and no longer welcome in, in the inbox. And these days, the majority of email is controlled by a small number of players, specifically Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, these kinds of players. And so if you don't play nice with them, you're going to be in the same boat with SMS. If you don't play nice and play by the rules with regards to you know opt-out and good hygiene and stuff like that, then AT&T, Verizon, and, and let's say Sprint can block you, and you're not getting anywhere, right? That's because they control, let's say, 85, 90% of all the uh, traffic in the United States on the phone system, and then the same thing is true essentially on the email system, although it's not that high, but it's, it's still quite high, 75, 80%, something like that. So hopefully this has helped you. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.